this is me vlogging on the Insta360 Go 2. I don't think I'm going to capture much of anything because this is very low light. Ah, music playing in the background. Low light. Let's go fix some outdoor fixings. Hey babe, were you going to drink that root beer? Huh? Were you going to drink that root beer? No, I don't know about it now. Okay. Hey my friends online, welcome back to my channel and another week's vlog. Last week I vlogged using entirely the Insta360 X2. This week's vlog I'm going to vlog entirely using the Insta360 Go 2. I wanted to really examine in detail the quality of the cameras that I own and I also wanted to share that with you. I also want to give you a chance to see my outdoor cooking skills as well. We got the Gosney pizza oven as you probably know from three videos ago and I have been using it to its max. I've really been enjoying cooking outside and it's been a great way to get together with family and great way to enjoy outdoor activities. Today my brother brought over lamb so we'll be cooking that on the Gosney pizza oven. It's pretty cool because it has this probe where I can check the temperature of the meat. Here you see the temperature of the oven, the temperature of meat I haven't cooked yet, and the temperature of some meat that I cooked. And you can see it's gotten up to 140. I pulled it out at about 115 and it continued to cook all the way up to 140. So what I've learned is I'm gonna have to pull it out a lot earlier, maybe around 100. and it turned out delicious. One of the things I do like about the Insta360 product line is using their Insta360 app. It's fairly easy to download the clips. It's easier if your clips are short. Try to keep every clip relatively short so they can download easily from the device onto my iPad. I don't use my laptop to edit and I probably never will. I'm trying to upload more videos to YouTube so I can get better at filming and editing. I'm also trying to improve my health by walking more regularly. My goal is to walk at least three to four days a week, around two to four miles. I'm not really that good when it comes to all the technical aspects of the camera, but I basically know what I like. You know, I'm pretty happy with the filming outdoors, except for when you go into darker areas. Tell me what you think of the picture quality in the comments down below. Walking is such a good time to relax, clear your head, maybe even learn something with a podcast or uh, language tapes. I've been using Penciler on my walks, Penciler Spanish to be exact. It's so nice and quiet. It's early in the morning. It is 7.09. I got started about 10-15 minutes ago. Ran into a couple of dog walkers, but for the most part, I have the path all to myself. The commitment to myself to be out here because I am really feeling the postmenopausal changes and that is an increase in deposition of belly fat. Uh, my weight hasn't really changed, but I do have this nagging little pooch in my belly that I really want to get rid of. Um, overall, I love my body. I love the shape I'm in, but it's just different and it doesn't feel like it's me. I know they say you should embrace your body and all your curves and everything like that, but it's hard to embrace something that just does not feel like me. This little pooch in my belly, it's I don't like it and so I got to do something about it so here I am out here early in the morning on a Sunday and yesterday and a Saturday trying to do something about it and we'll we'll see what happens it's hard to fight hormones hopefully you know with better eating and some exercise we can get back to how we sort of used to be didn't have to be at work so doggone early because it would be so nice to get up early when it's nice and quiet like this and walk every morning for even if it's just 30 minutes or so. Uh, usually I walk for about an hour but 
being the work so early is just not gonna happen and I'm not gonna be walking in the dark. It's just not gonna happen. And who wants to get up at four in the morning every morning? <laughs> That's not gonna happen. It's weird when you stop vlogging because a car is going by. Mainly I do it because who wants the noise in the background? But two, it's like, because I don't want them staring at me. But when you think about it, <laughs> they're driving by in a car. They may stare for a second, then that's it. They probably don't even really care that much. Is it like, what is she holding? We're going to keep it up. And the oh, car just passed by. Do I care what they think? Um, no. It did feel like they slowed down a little bit. But I don't think they really care. I think that was just all my imagination. So I'm just going to keep on walking. So soon I'll be coming up to a spot where I tried to get this kind of shot of me walking. And I took it out of the case last time and accidentally hit the slow-mo mode. It's still kind of a okay shot with some editing, but it wasn't what I wanted. So we're going to try it again. It's at a busy intersection and corner. And no matter what, I don't care how many cars are there, I'm going to set this shot up. And this time I'm going to get it right and not accidentally hit slow-mo. And I messed it up again. Somehow when I took it out of the little holding case, I don't know if I accidentally put it in slow-mo or it went to slow motion on its own, but here we go. Not what I wanted. But if you look really closely right here, I know it's going super slow and I don't know if you can even notice it. It's doing this weird, slow pan zooming in and I didn't do anything special for it to do this but I don't know can you see it is it just my imagination let me know in the comments below if you see it too but it seems like it's slowly just zooming in it just did it on its own I think I did it again. I think I accidentally put the camera in slow motion mode when I filmed that little walk by. Um, I won't be able to tell since I, until I get home because I don't have the InstaGo 3, I have the InstaGo 2 where you can't review the footage. But I snapped it back in the pod and the slow-mo icon showed up. So I think I did it again. So I'm gonna have to figure out the step to not have it go into slow motion mode when I take it out of the pod. Oh, que lastima. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to make these videos from start to finish using just one camera so I can get an idea of what the quality, picture quality looks like with just one camera and what's going to be my go-to camera. I know most people say you're going to have to use multiple cameras, but I don't want to use multiple cameras. I want just one. So I am very interested in the DJI Pocket and it's, I'm waiting for the latest iteration to come out before trying it. And hopefully it will be a better vlogging camera than this. Because it would be nice to be able to see what I'm doing. But goodness, who knows when it's going to come out. It's been two and a half years, almost three years already. And they haven't come out with the Pocket 3. What's up with that? So I'm giving it until October before car before my trip to Spain and France and if it doesn't come out by October I'm just gonna buy the two because everybody's been super happy with the two my neighbor has the two and he loves it matter of fact he let me borrow it maybe I'll insert some footage of I got using it um, at a little party get-together we had so this camera stuff is very daunting Making videos for YouTube is very daunting, but it's fun. It's like a hobby for me. So I like playing around with cameras. I like playing around with editing. I don't love editing, but I do like playing around with it and seeing what the results are. So, ooh, I got a nice little pace here because I'm getting a little out of breath. Well, I did just go up a hill, so there's that. 
I wanted to get this super cool shot of this intricate array of spider webbing, but then I totally got icked out and couldn't go near it. So <laughs> we're not going to get that shot, even though it would have been pretty cool. Like the little spider webs with the sun and the water and the dew glistening off of it. But I was afraid mama spider might be over there lurking and jump in my face. I don't know. Um, deathly scared of spiders and would have been a cool shot if I wasn't so deathly afraid. Shocking update. I filmed with cars going by and they could see me in the open and I live. I survived. Indoor shooting is not ideal with the Insta360 Go, but I found when the area has a decent amount of natural light, the shots come out pretty good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Today is going to be a relaxing pool day, so pack with me as we head to the pool. Once again, I am filming inside. There is a moderate amount of natural light from the window and the overhead light. Jen, what is that? Oh, a little camera. Which one? Uh, it's, the, it's the 360 Go 2. No way! Uh, it's the brand, but it's, it's not recording. A <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it's like the camera, little queen of gadgets. It's great. It's going to be like inconspicuous. You want to be. So I know we didn't really talk about audio quality of the camera, but let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the video quality, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, my friend online.